Hello children. Today I will start chapter 7. The name of the chapter is money. In this I will deal with the use of money. Everybody knows what is the use of money? Purchasing things, everything. Whatever you are eating, whatever you are wearing, whatever you are studying, the pen, pencil, everything you are buying using money. It is very important and without money we cannot imagine our life. In previous class you have studied that rupees 1 is equal to 100 paise. This conversion 1 paise is equal to rupees 110. All these things you have studied and many more questions you have done. But in this class I will explain you unitary method. What is the use of unitary method? Suppose your mother told you to buy 5 toffees. Okay. And she has given you 100 rupees. So you went in the shop and you told the, uh, the shopkeeper that uncle give me five toffees and he uncle told that cost of one toffee is rupees six okay uncle told one cost of one toffee is rupees six so what will you do you will multiply six five times because you want five toffees so six plus six second toffee plus six third toffee plus six fourth toffee plus six fifth toffee so you will multiply 6 by 5 as you want 5 toffees each is of 6 rupees and you will get you will give 30 rupees to the shopkeeper here now suppose toffee suppose you have to buy now one toffee and you went to the sh uh, shop and the shopkeeper said that cost of 5 toffees is 10 rupees. What is the cost of 5 toffees? 10 rupees. If you want one, you give me money and take the toffee. So how much you will give? 5 tens or 10 divided by 5? What will you do? Cost of 5 toffees, rupees 10. So you will give for one toffee 50 rupees. No, you will not give. So you will divide this 50 this 10 and 5. So you will divide this 10 and 5. So you will give 2 rupees for 1 toffee. You will give 2 rupees for 1 toffee. What you have done? You have divided. So I have a question. Meera went to a shop and bought 5 toy planes for rupees 320. Okay. How much did she pay for each? Obviously, when you, whenever you think, whenever such type of questions come, you must think that five toy planes for rupees 320, then obviously one toy plane will be of less price. So, for less price, you have to divide. For less price, you have to divide. So, you will write in the column, you will write Cost of five toy planes is equal to rupees three twenty. So the so cost of one toy plane is equal to which operation you will do? Will you multiply this two? You will get much more th number in thousand. So you will give thousand more than thousand rupees for one toy. And for five you are paying only 320. So obviously keep in mind that if for one you want to know the amount or whatever. So you will divide. So here you will divide it by five. So what, what will come? 5, 6, 30, 2, 0 will come down. Now 5, 4, 20, 0. So your answer is 64. So cost of one toy plane is rupees 64. Always remember if cost of five toy planes are 320s and then obviously cost of one toy plane will be lesser and for that you have to divide. Okay. Now if in place of each 
or 1. If 3 is there, 4 is there. If you know the price of 1, you can find the price of more also. So whenever such type of question is there, that the Mira went to shop and bought 5 toy planes for Rs. 320, how much did she pay for in place of each? If 2 is there, then what will you do? You will, same way you will find first cost of, first you will find cost of one toy plane. First you will find cost of one toy plane. After that, after knowing one, you can find for any number 2, 3, 4, 5. For that you will multiply. So for 2 you will multiply. So cost of 1 we are finding just to find. If many is given, first we find 1. And after that if any other number is there, 2, 3, 4, 5. We multiply this amount by the required question. But here let it be each. One more question I will solve. Okay. Next question is. If 20 meter of ribbon cost rupees 180, how much would 75 meter cost? See here, it is not asking how much would 1 meter cost. It is asking for uh, that how much 75 meter cost. In this question, the basic thing is that you have to remember unitary method and the most important thing that price of 1 if we know, we can find price of any number of article. Okay, if price of one chocolate is 5 rupees, 3 chocolate will be 5, 3 is 50. 4 chocolate will be 5, 4 is 20. Like this we can multiply and find. For, uh, and if many, cost of many chocolate is given and we have to find for one, then we divide. That your in unitary method just now I have explained. So, here first you try 20 meter of ribbon cost is given. Cost of 20 meter ribbon is given. So, you will write cost of 20 meter ribbon is equal to rupees 180. So, first we will find cost of 1 meter ribbon. So, we will write cost of 1 meter ribbon is equal to for this we will not multiply because it will be less. So 180 divided by 20. Now very simple division. 2 9 are 18 and 0 0 will be cancelled. So it will be 9. And if you are not able to do you can divide. 180 and 20. Okay for that what do we do? We just tell table of 20 or you can say table of 2 also. 2 9 ja 18 so 20 9 ja 180. Now cost of 1 meter ribbon we have got. Cost of 1 meter ribbon we have got. So we will, we can find of cost of, we can find cost of any length of meter. So here in the question 75 meter cost they want. So we will write cost of 75 meter ribbon is equal to 1 meter is 9. So 75 will be 9 into 75. Now you multiply. Here in the rough or working space we are, I will multiply. It is working column. I will multiply here. 75 multiplied by 9. It is 9. 5 ja 45. 4 in hand. 9, 7 ja 63. 64, 65, 66, 67. So our answer is 675 rupees. Sign must give because it is asking cost. So this way we solve the questions. Thank you.